welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome my name is zoe so you know me as za reptiles on instagram and twitter and today was my first day at my new job at the zoo um which is why i am filming it late at night with horrible lighting uh, because my day just flew by my daylight hours were limited after work and i had a lot to do so I didn't get around to filming this video until now, and it is dark outside, which means I am filming with my horrible indoor lighting, so I apologize. But we have an unboxing to do, and that is my Who Gives a Crap toilet paper. So you guys are probably thinking, why would we want to watch you unbox toilet paper? Well, let me tell you. Who gives a crap? Doesn't just make any normal toilet paper. This is eco-friendly toilet paper. Eco-friendly toilet paper. And part of the profits from this toilet paper go to helping places that don't have what we have. So don't have the toilets and the plumbing that we have. It helps those places get toilets, which is pretty big. I think we take our toilets for granted. So, good cause, and it's eco-friendly, and y'all know how much I love eco-friendly products. So they have a couple different options on their website as far as your toilet paper options. They have bamboo toilet paper, which I can only imagine how soft it is, probably like wiping your butt with a cloud, quite honestly. And then they have their 100% recycled toilet paper. So I got the 100% recycled toilet paper, it is a little cheaper. Um, and then they have like multiple amounts that you can buy it in. I think it's like 24 and 40 or 30, no it's 30 and 40 something I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. But I got the smaller amount um, just to give it a try to see how I like it. If I really really like it I'll probably subscribe and get it delivered to me every couple of months. Um, yeah so that'll be fun. So this is three ply toilet paper and what I really like is on the boxes they actually tell you how to reuse the box. So on this one it actually says use the box to make a spaceship. And also I'm going to read you the side of the box because it's super funny. It says, nice bum. Oh, I thank you. We don't put any inks, dyes, or scents in our toilet paper so it's as lovely as your behind. Love this company already and I haven't even opened the box or tried it yet. All right, so enough chit chat. Let's open the box. Oh, the packaging is so beautiful. All right, so I have 24 rolls of beautifully packaged toilet paper. It's so, it's so pretty. Look at it, beautiful. All right, so I told you that part of their profit goes to helping build toilets for those that don't have them. So it's actually 50% of the profits are donated to help build toilets. So most companies, they donate like 10% to an organization. This company donates 50% to their cause. Okay, so you guys may be wondering why eco-friendly toilet paper? Like, it's toilet paper. Why do I need eco-friendly toilet paper? Well, as you guys know, I moved. I have my own apartment now. And I'm trying to find ways to go minimal waste and also eco-friendly in my apartment. I want my apartment to be a mainly eco-friendly place. And so I'm trying to find lots of different swaps that I can use for everyday products that are more environmentally friendly. Who Gives a Crap is a company that I've been wanting to try for a while now. And now that I have to buy my own toilet paper because I don't live at home, um, I figured, better now than never so that's one reason why also if you look on their website on their Instagram they are not only trying to help those who do not have toilets but trying to make an environmental impact according to what they have found about 27,000 trees are cut down each day to make toilet paper so about 98% of those trees are virgin trees. So yes, people are planting trees, 
you can cut down those trees, make toilet paper, replant the trees. However, 98% of the trees being used for toilet paper are not these trees. They are virgin trees, meaning they are not ones that have been cut down and replanted and cut down and replanted. These are the trees that are hurting habitats and hurting our environment because they are not being planted with the intention of being cut down. They are trees that have already been established by nature and are being cut down to make toilet paper. So who gives a crap avoids this by making 100% recycled toilet paper or toilet paper from bamboo. This is an extra little way to help reduce my harmful impact on the environment. So now if you're thinking you might want to give these a try and join me on the journey, I will put the link in the description below for the site and should you use that link, you will automatically save $10 on your first purchase. Now this is for your first purchase and your first purchase only. If you have already purchased from this site before, then it will not work for you. However, if it is your very first purchase from the site and you use that link, you will automatically save $10 right off the bat. So that is what I did for my purchase. I used someone else's link. I saved $10 on my purchase because it was my first purchase. And I just got one of the smaller, so 24 pack of 100% recycled toilet paper. So that's the cheapest one. And then I saved $10 on it. And if you spend over $25, you get free shipping. And pretty much everything they have is over $25. So you're automatically guaranteed free shipping with almost any purchase. So if you're thinking that is something you'd like to do, that link will be in the description below. However, I recommend waiting till the end of this video because the next part of this video will be a week from now because I'm gonna give you an update after I've used these for a week. So I'm not gonna just tell you guys, hey, this is great without me actually having gone and used it. So I don't know if it's gonna be too much TMI for you guys, but like, I want to be able to know that I'm telling you guys about a good product. If the product's not good, then I'm not gonna tell you to buy it. So, gotta make sure this stuff is as good as they say it is. So just to give you a general idea, a lot of people that I saw online said that they would buy them for their family and it would take forever to get through one roll, where normally they'd go flying through rolls. I can tell you from living with other people that toilet paper rolls don't last. Even by myself, they don't last. I've been here in this apartment for five days now and gone through two rolls of toilet paper. I don't know how, quite honestly. I think it's I drink a lot of water. But we're going to see how long a roll lasts me and see how the quality is. And I will get back to you guys in a week with that info. Hi, hello, it has been a hot minute. So I said that I would film an update after a week. As you guys know, I filmed the first part of this video when I moved in and that was a month ago, okay? I forgot to film after a week and then my family came to visit and my boyfriend came to visit and just got really busy and I kept forgetting. So it has been on this day exactly one month since I unboxed my Who Gives a Crap toilet paper, okay? One whole month. So this is an even better review than if I did it after a week, okay? It has been one whole month. So, we'll start off with how many have been used. So I got a pack of 24 and I still have 15 left. So I have used nine rolls. Now mind you, in this time, my family has come to visit me twice one of those times, my whole family came, including my brother and my sister, and my brother stayed with me. And that kid flies through toilet paper like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the second time, my parents came and stood with me. That was last weekend. And it was just the two of them, but they stayed with me for the whole weekend. Um, and my boyfriend also came and stood with me for, stood with me, stayed with me for, I think, four days. Um, and now mind you, half of those days I was at work for most of the day, so he was here at my apartment. Um, so access to the bathroom all day. So in a month and having people come and visit me three times, I've only used nine rolls of toilet paper. Now, 
back at home, I think we would go through nine rolls of toilet paper in a week. No joke. So the fact that I've only gone through nine in a whole month is like insane. So as a, for the quality, I don't mind it. I think it's just as fine as normal toilet paper. I mean, is it like cheap and super thin? Like you would find it like a public bathroom or anything, or if you were to go out and like buy a super cheap toilet paper, it's not like that. It is a good quality. It's not like super soft, like the more expensive toilet paper.